Hey, it's Graydon Russell here with Forever Booked. I just finished reading this book called Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson. Now, if you haven't heard of Russell Brunson, he's an internet entrepreneur. He's the founder of a software called ClickFunnels, but most importantly, he's just a really, really smart marketer. And this is his latest book, and it's all about finding where your dream customers are hiding and getting them to go to your website and actually come into your business. And I really like this book because it's written in a completely evergreen manner, meaning that it doesn't just talk about, you know, tactics that are going to be outdated in a week from now. It talks about foundational strategies that are going to be applicable, you know, 5, 10, 20, even 50 years from now. And so you're not going to find any walkthroughs on how to set up a Facebook ad or set up Google ads. It more talks about foundational things you can do to really figure out where your dream customers are hiding. Because you probably have an idea in your clinic, you know, I love these types of patients. I love working with them. They're a pleasure to work with. They, you know, pay for my highest ticket procedures. They get great results. But you're probably wondering, where can I get more of those people? Where are they hanging out? And this book is all about finding where those people are. And the very first thing he talks about in this book is an exercise called the Dream 100. And the Dream 100 is essentially a list that you put together for your business. And it helps you figure out exactly where those people are hiding. And this is something that you may have done informally, informally for your clinic. You may have an idea of like, okay, I have all these competitors. I know that my competitor, my customers are going to these different types of businesses, but putting together this list for your business is a fantastic exercise. Whether you're a new med spa or you're established, this is something that's really, really important for you to do uh, to figure out, you know, where those patients are and how you can get more of them into your clinic. So to make it really easy for you, I put together a spreadsheet that's customized for the medical aesthetic industry. And I'm just gonna jump on my computer real quick here and show you exactly how this thing works and how you can start building up a Dream 100 list for your med spa so you can start attracting more of those ideal star patients. All right, here we are at the Dream 100 worksheet for medical spas. Now, when you get to this worksheet, you're not gonna be able to edit it directly. What you're gonna need to do is just go to File and then make a copy. And if you're using Google Drive, it's just gonna make a copy in your Google account that you can start editing for yourself. And if you wanna download it as an Excel file, if you prefer working on Excel, just click download and you can download the uh, uh, Microsoft Excel document. Now don't be fooled by the simplicity of this thing. What the, the power really comes from the exercise of filling out all of these columns, which are essentially different categories or places that your dream patients are gonna be hanging out. The first one here is your top paying patients. Now, this is something that every clinic should know. Uh, they should know exactly who their top paying patients are because these are the people that are going to be referring other people. And if they're not referring other people, it's a great idea to start maybe offering some incentive to get those people referring more. The next thing you list is your top referring patients, which could, there's probably going to be some overlap here of your top paying and top referring, but it's, it's good to know who these patients are as well. If you're not you know, rewarding them for referring people, maybe you, should, maybe you should start recognizing that and give them some more incentives for referring more patients. Next here is competitors. It's really important to know who these competitors are because maybe some of your dream patients are you know, going to your competitors and maybe there's something that you can offer these people uh, to get them to come to your clinic instead. Next, Facebook groups. There's a lot of local Facebook groups in you know, every area, you know, uh, Facebook mom groups and workout groups and all the different types of groups that you should have. Blogs, uh, there's lots of local blogs that your, your dream customers would be hanging out at. Instagram influencers. And then these next couple categories here are really important because these are local complementary businesses uh, that you know, a lot of your customers are gonna be going to these types of businesses, spas, hair salons, yoga studios, fitness clubs, bridal studios. So you wanna write down all of these businesses. You can just Google, you know, hair salon, your town, and just add all the hair salons that come up. And it's really, really important to have these because, you know, all your customers are gonna be going to these businesses as well. And then I added, added an other column where you can add other types of businesses that you think might be complementary to your service. Uh, you can get creative here. You know, I, I, I read a, a book that there was, uh, there was a medical spa or was a plastic surgery clinic that had a joint venture deal with a local family law lawyer who specialized in divorces because he knew that a lot of, uh, a lot of women would get cosmetic surgery after their divorce. So he actually contacted that person and set up a deal with them to offer, uh, to, to reach out to those people after they uh, divorced because they knew they wanted those services. So you can add other businesses here or create whole new columns for different categories 
of complementary businesses. So you don't necessarily have to do any of do anything with these. Once you fill it out, you don't have to do anything. The main thing here is that once you start filling these columns out, your mind's going to start to think and you're going to think, okay, I know all my customers are hanging out here. How can I start to get in front of those people? And there's a lot of different strategies you can use to do that. But what I would, what I would think, and I just want to plant this idea in your mind is how, how can you deliver value to these different pockets of people that are, that your customers are going to, you know, if you have a, if you have a hair salon that you like in town and you know that a lot of your customers are there, how can you deliver value to that hair salon and sort of create this win-win situation? And I know this is something my dad does in his clinic is he has a, a book that he wrote for his clinic. It's just a nice educational book that tells people about uh, the new non-surgical treatments that are really popular today. And he just gives these books uh, to this hair salon. And inside the book, there's a $100 gift card for his clinic. And so at hair salons, they're, they're having conversations, right, when they're getting their hair done. And a lot of those conversations are gonna lead to, you know, what else can I do to improve my appearance? And that's where it's really easy for the... Uh, for the the owner of the hair salon to just recommend this book because that's the next natural thing that you're going to do if you're interested in treatment. You're going to learn more about what there is, what uh, he has to offer. So just fill this out. It's a great exercise to do and save it. And whenever you think of a new uh, place that your customers could be hanging out, just add it to one of these columns. And then just keep on adding to it and you'll start to get these ideas of how you can reach out to these people. Now, I might make a video in the future about different strategies that you can use to uh, to leverage these different pockets of people and, and get more of them coming in. But for this video, I just wanted to give you this worksheet for you to start filling out. And then hopefully as you do, you start to think of different ways you can get in front of these people to, to get more of those dream patients in your clinic. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video.